And the year the groundbreaking was, was 19, uh, 19, well, let's look over here, 1944. Well, I'm talking about the new church. Oh, the new church, okay. Yeah, well, fantastic. God bless you. She was her hands off. And enjoy, and we enjoy having you on Travels with the Stevensons with the uh, St. Antonius Roman Catholic Church. Praise the Lord and pass the ammunition to godly principles. Amen. Amen. Amen.
Good morning. Welcome to Hang In tonight and welcome to this wonderful celebration of the 75th anniversary of Hang In tonight. We invite you to stand and join in singing our opening song, found in our gather book number 598. Oh God, beyond all praise.
Let us pray. Grant us, we pray, Almighty God, that we who believe that your only begotten Son, our Redeemer, ascended this day to the heavens, may in spirit dwell already in heavenly realms, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever.
brothers and sisters, may the God of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of glory, give you a spirit of wisdom and revelation, resulting in knowledge of him. May the eyes of your hearts be enlightened, that you may know what is the hope that belongs to his call. What are the riches of glory in his inheritance among the holy ones? And what is the surpassing greatness of his power for us who believe in accord with the exercise of his great might? which he worked in Christ, raising him from the dead and seating him at his right hand in the heavens, far above every principality, authority, power, and dominion, and every name that is named, not only in this age, but also in the one to come. And he put all things beneath his feet and gave him as head over all things to the church, which is his body, the fullness of the one who fills all things in every way. The word of the Lord. During the 75th anniversary celebration, we give thanks to God. For the St. Anthony's family, for, for our greater family in 
Christ outside of St. Antoine's Parish and for our own personal families. We remember and give thanks to God for all of those who have served St. Antoninus Parish for 75 years. Teachers and staff members and volunteers and religious deacons, priests, employees, and others. The first time I visited this parish was in 1982. My brother and sister-in-law married in the church downstairs. 37 years later, they're still very happy to be married. We're taught how to love, we're taught how to receive love. The people of St. Antonius Parish have been doing that for 75 years. A few years ago, I had a chance to attend a high school graduation ceremony, and the commencement speaker, one of the students, said these words. He said, living the life of a Catholic is actually very simple. He said, all you gotta do is love God above all things, Love your neighbors as yourself. And that's what's been happening here for 75 years. Because love is all we need, and love is all that we really need to do. God truly has shed his grace on this part of Western Hills for 75 years. And preparing for today, I had a chance to read the history that was written. 50 years ago, when the 25th anniversary of the parish was celebrated. And I found this quote from Father Urbane, who was the pastor at the time. And I think this statement contains meaning for us right here and right now and into the future. This community of the people of God, priests and people together, has tried to worship God well and is, and that is was in italics is a good parish. The parish has reached full maturity without growing old. And 50 years later, even fuller maturity without growing old. This is a good parish. Not this was a good parish, or this will be a good parish. This is a good parish, where people try to be the people of God. And from my experience of being here, not only from my brother's wedding 37 years ago, but many times since then, people here have tried to love the people they serve and tell others by their words and their actions that God loves them. Thanks for being a good parish. And we really do reflect and pause and thank God for the people who were here 75 years ago because people kept the faith and pass it on. And maybe some of you have roots in this parish, or maybe some of you were members of this parish 75 years ago when it was founded. People kept the faith and passed it on. I was assisting in a mass for a religious education program in one of the parishes locally. I've had a chance to help in this parish for each of the years I've been the exuberant bishop. I'll be back in this parish later on this summer. And at the end of the Mass that day, I received a, a, a stack of thank you notes for being there. And one of the young students who was there shared these words. Bishop Joe, thanks for being here today. Just remember, keep the faith and pass it on. <laughs> and to that I say, amen. 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 Because amen. that's what we're supposed to do is keep the faith and pass it on. And we give thanks for our grandparents, for parents, for teachers, for priests, for volunteers, for coaches who have helped us and have showed us how to keep the faith and pass it on. That's what's been happening in St. Antoninus for 75 years. And that's what's going to continue for the next 75 years. Because that's what our sweet Lord invites us to do. We remember the words that Jesus said to his followers as he was ready to leave them and ascend into heaven. He told them that there would be the promise of power when the Holy Spirit came upon them, and they would be his witnesses locally, but also his witnesses to the end of the world. Next week we celebrate Pentecost. We remember that great day when the Holy Spirit did descend upon the apostles, and that Holy Spirit changed their lives forever. 
the Holy Spirit changes our lives forever. Because the apostles shared the faith, they kept the faith, and they passed it on. Jesus enkindled in them through the Holy Spirit, the fire of God's love burning within them, and inspired them to do things that they never thought they would be able to do. When Jesus ascended into heaven, the apostles could quit right there, but they didn't. They believed in what he told them. They accepted what he had passed on to them. And they made a difference in the world. And we have the same mission, to accept the teaching of Jesus Christ and to share it in our families and to share with others. The Lord who loved each one of his followers and called each one of them by name calls each one of us by name and leads us and loves us and asks us to share what we have been given with others. And the wonderful thing is we all know about sharing faith and sharing love. When we share that with others, it doesn't decrease within ourselves. In fact, maybe each one of us has had an experience where it's increased because we've taken the time to share with someone what we believe. As I was preparing today, I, I did something that you could not have done 75 years ago. I went to the website of St. Antoninus Parish. <laughs> and I did some reading about what, some of the great things were happening here. And I came across this statement on the St. Vincent de Paul Society webpage. And it seems like it was written for today because it begins with these words. As we celebrate the Feast of the Ascension, we're reminded that Christ's saving work on earth continues to his disciples. And now, underline now, through us. By the way, now is almost like is. It's happening right here and right now. When we give to the poor, God indeed pours his love, his peace, and his joy into our hearts, into our lives, and into the hearts of those who are poor. In the month of May, through your gifts, the Society of St. Vincent de Paul brought the love and care of Jesus to the poor by assisting six families providing $100 for food and $1,228 for utility and rent bills and for other needs. Thank you. Thank you. What great words. The people who were served are also people called by name, by Jesus, people with real hopes, people with real concerns. Providing for them helps to keep the faith and pass it on. Providing for them and in so many other ways here at St. Antoninus, you're witnessing to what you believe, to what I believe, about who Jesus Christ is. And so on this day, we raise a hymn of prayer and thanksgiving to God for the past 75 years and for what the rest of this day holds and also for what the future holds here. Father Jim Willett. Some of you, if not all of you, probably know of him. He changed his city, he changed his archdiocese by preaching and teaching. But one of the things he shared publicly as he was going through his treatment for cancer were these words. I don't know what my future holds, but I know who holds my future. And his name is Jesus Christ. What a great statement of faith, keeping the faith and passing it on. And how those words impact our lives today. That none of us know what our future holds, but we know who holds our future. And his name is Jesus Christ. And he has equipped us with the gift of faith so that we might follow him. So that we might follow him to our eternal dwelling place in heaven. Because the ascension of Jesus Christ gives us the confidence to follow him because we know he's awaiting us in our eternal home, along with his blessed mother, along with St. Antoninus, as well as all the other saints who are there celebrating with us today in a way that we can't really picture. We believe that we're all part of the community of saints who worships God and praises God for all that God has done for us. God is calling each one of us to be saints, and today we celebrate. Happy anniversary to all. May God bless you and keep you, and please be assured of my prayers. I believe in one God.
confidence we turn to God with our prayers. For the church, that we may continue the mission of Jesus and bring forth the reign of God through our worship, our work, and our relationships each day, we pray to the Lord. For Pope Francis, that God will guide his visit to Romania and strengthen the faith of the church, we pray to the Lord. For all gathered here for the 75th anniversary of the parish, that we may look for Christ in our Eucharistic assembly and in our families and communities, for Christ is always with us, we pray to the Lord. For all you, that God will guide their path, help them to recognize the blessings which they have received and inspire them with new solutions for the challenges of society, we pray to the Lord. Lord for all who are recovering from storms, tornadoes, and floods, that God will relieve their suffering, renew their spirits, and move the hearts of many people to assist them, we pray to the Lord. Lord for all who have died, especially Betty Herman, Charlie Stinson, for the shooting victims in Virginia Beach, 